Good morning, folks. Uh, my name is Lauri Komi, and uh, a colleague here is Mattia Fracasso. And we are flying you guys from Oslo to Orlando today with uh, our longship, the uh, Colson is longship uh, 081. And the aircraft is Lima November Fox November Charlie. It's going to be 9 hours 15 minutes, the estimated flight time. Uh, fairly good flight conditions all the way. Uh, maybe some uh, just mild chops around between 2 and 4 hours into the flight. Otherwise, nice and smooth, same as uh, Orlando. Should be a hot and sunny afternoon for us when we arrive. I'll be doing the, uh, the flying today, and uh, Mattia will uh, look after me that uh, everything goes as planned. Once again, welcome aboard, and uh, talk to you later. Okay, we're gonna start with a walk around of the of the airplane now before we board the passengers. So we can start from this, from the left hand side here. Check all the static ports and the relief valves. General conditions of tires, probes, and angle of attacks. The steering pin installed for the pushback. Check the general conditions on the engine. Nav lights are in good order. Ailerons, there's the fuel dumping valve there, the fuel dumping uh, vent. Flaps and flapper on conditions. And that leads us into the, to the main gear. Wheel and tire conditions. Wheel brake. door that's where the ram air turbine is general conditions in the tail area with the uh, horizontal stabilizer vertical conditions back here with the elevator and the rudder APU area check the general conditions of the airplane on this side as well and this kind of repeats itself on the uh, left hand side of the airplane also and uh, that concludes the walk around of the uh, North 787 something for you not to get hungry oh thank you not to get hungry huh? okay Lauri yeah. emergency briefing yes sir okay so below 80 knots we will stop for animal functions. Above 80 knots, we will only stop for engine failure, any fire indications, predictive wind shear warning, or airplane unsafe to fly. If I call reject, call reject, close thrust lever, disengage auto throttle, verify RTO brake on the ICAS, or I'll go max minor braking, apply four reversers, we'll verify speed brake comes up. Initially, we'll stop on the runway, park and brake set, and your call to the cabin crew will be... At the sun, crew at station. Perfect. And your actions for the reason? We'll uh, monitor your actions, call out any omissions, check that the truss is closed, motor hole disconnected, uh, reverses applied, and we call you no reverses, no reverse left engine, no reverse right engine, or reverses normal. Check that the speed brake is up and the auto brake is engaged or manual braking. Perfect. Call you 60 knots. I want to be stopped on runway and I have uh, time. I will call the tower that we stopped on the runway. Perfect. Yep. Flight take from ground. You can start all your engines when you want. Thank you. Starting two and one. And engine starts are both completely automatic, also for most abnormal conditions, so we don't touch anything until the system tells us to. Here we go. Perfect. Flaps be right. Flaps fine, please. Flight throws. Ready. 
check, rudder left. All right. Send it across. Thrust ref. Thrust it. Rotate. Post the rate. Gear up. Now left. Check. Trust her. We have speed. Long ship 081, the contact approach, 120.45, slow. 2045, long ship 081, how that? Flaps 1, flaps 1. Long ship 081, approach, shut up, side, count flat to 2110, free speed. Thank you, climb level 210, long ship 081. 210, check. Lima Romeovka, climb to flight level 100. Flight level 100, Lima Romeovka. Okay, so I have uh, bird cleared and NBT081 to MCO via Valdi. Check. Random route. Yeah. Golf 3 Airways. The lows recommended flight level is 36 because the winds, but for us we are 380 for the crossing. Okay, well. There you go, that's a message for you. So we have our New York flight returning from JFK and our flight will probably meet around 62 north, 10 west. Yeah. So that's in around 9.50, in around 45 minutes. So we should be... We should see the other guys. Should we see the other guys there? Just a short description what we did after uh, the liftoff. So... We departed uh, runway 19 left from Oslo and then followed all these waypoints. So we had the speeds 230 on this waypoint and uh, it says climb to 7000. So we were climbing up uh, through these waypoints here. And then we uh, turned a little bit right and followed to Atlap point. And uh, around here we were around 7,000 and then we were, we were cleared higher level all the way up to 380 which we are now. We've been flying 62 north, 10 west. It's just coming here, this point. And in, uh, yeah, 51, in about seven minutes we will meet the other uh, longship coming across towards Europe. They are cutting the corner. <laughs> so they should be on our left when they cross. your cover. Yeah. We'll have a good picture. Yes, so uh, North Atlantic, we're now flying 
Uh, so nice to begin. We're into with the first two weeks of operations. Oh, exciting times, and uh, we'll start seeing a lot more North Atlantic airplanes in the air very soon. Yeah, the water salutes. Uh, they uh, sometimes at the airports when there's a inaugural flight, they want to make a special uh, occasion, and that then we have probably two uh, fire brigade uh, firefighters there to uh, to salute us. It's gonna be nice. In Norse, uh, we're flying these uh, modern uh, Boeing 787 Dreamliner, and as most of you know, it's a very efficient airplane, very modern airplane. It's definitely one of the greenest airplanes to fly across the Atlantic. We, we start at very high level when compared to our uh, older airliners, so we can fly mostly above the traffic, above most weather. We get a better routing, a greener routing, a more efficient routing. Uh, that obviously reduces fuel requirements, fuel consumption, CO2 emissions. Uh, Norse, who have chosen a, a very high level of technology in terms of systems, uh, that also optimizes the efficiency in the air and, uh, yes, fuel requirements. So we're definitely one of the greenest airlines across the Atlantic. Morning, Gander. Longship 081 Heavy, level 400. Longship 081 Heavy, Gander Center. Good morning. Identified squat code 0773. So, quick update on the route now. We climbed at 400 uh, a while ago, as you as you saw. We're now about uh, about 200 miles away from the uh, U.S. border, about 140 miles away from Moncton, Montreal area. We're going to enter the uh, United States in the Bangor, main area there. Yes, we're flying right over Boston in about a uh, little less than an hour. Yep. GLS is 1.9 in 1181 that's parked here. Correct. Uh, latest echo. Echo, yeah, sir. Nice. At least echo. Yeah. Without too much break. Yeah. And then we taxi into airside one as instructed. Yeah, perfect. Descent checklist. Descent checklist. Rico. That was checked. Checked. Notes. No notes. Checked. Auto brake. Set three. Landing data. The sphere 30 is 140, minimum sparrow 294. Sphere 30, 140, minimum 294. Approach briefing. That's complete. Mission check is complete. Thank you. Sphere 6, 35, long ship 01, good day. Alpha, uh, I'm oh, sorry, Mike Yankee Alpha Tango. Now Jackson, long ship 081, heavy descending 340. Longship 081, Jack Center, descend and maintain by level 240. Head level 240, Longship 081. 350, Whiskey Charlie, contact Daytona Approach 108.85. Check 24. 
Alpha approach, Longship 081 Heavy, descending 12000 with India. Longship 081 Heavy, Orlando, welcome. Expect the uh, ILS, runway 17 left. Roger, ILS 17 left, Longship uh, 081. Any chance for 18 right today? I have your request. And what was the current information you had? In the uh, correction, November. November. Okay, I'm showing Oscar. Advise when you have Oscar. We'll pick up Oscar, thanks. Longship 081 Heavy, change your runway to 18 right and expect the ILS approach. ILS 18 right, Longship 081, thank you. How's it resolve? Coast Guard 1715, turtle left heading at 290, descend to maintain 10,000. 1715, contact Orlando 120.15. 2015, 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 contact Orlando 120.15. Present heading, uh, okay, 6,000, check 6,000, thrust heading select, level change speed. Atlantic Airways today and uh, looking forward to see you on board our flights in the future. See you later guys. 